Hey guys, uh, this is Jag and uh, I'm going to talk about today the cryptocurrency wallets. Uh, there are different type of wallets available at the moment. I think I feel there's a lot of uh, misconception out there to understand the way the wallet works and that's why a lot of people losing quite a lot of money and I was one of those guys uh, who ended up uh, losing quite a lot of uh, in the beginning just trying to understand it how these wallets work for cryptocurrency and what's the difference between each wallet and how they can actually fit together in the grand scheme of things uh, when you actually start to use it because think of the think of the time right now at the moment because what we've been doing is we're buying these all tokens or cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum or any of those new startup tokens but we haven't actually started using them See, these are just from the investment perspective at the moment. Um, very quickly, I think in this year, I believe this is 2018, um, what's going to happen is when these tokens and the coins come into the circulation, then when you can actually start buying and selling things using them, then the wallet's going to become really, really, really important. So you need to really understand what's the difference between each wallet and where these wallets come from and what's the difference why you want to use them and uh, let's get started so the first thing we want to understand is what is this cryptocurrency wallet right so we call it cryptocurrency it doesn't matter what you have whether you have a token whether you have a coins this is called a wallet exactly like the wallets you've been having exactly like the wallet i have i've been using for a long time and that's why reason it's called wallet so but the biggest difference is uh, with any wallets, right? Uh, if you're using any of the traditional currencies like dollars, pounds, any of your, um, any of the traditional currencies, what's been happening with those currencies? You have to have a currency in your wallet. But in the difference between a Bitcoin or any of those cryptocurrencies is the currency doesn't stay in the wallet. So what happens is the only thing you got in the wallet is public and private keys. So public and private keys you're not putting anything inside the wallet other than this so what it does is think of the example that is you're not putting the house in your pocket when you walk into your house or lock your house the only thing you're keeping in your house is or in your bag or in your wallet is or in your pockets is the keys to your house so the house stays as is this is exactly the same as um, you know the the ledger which is connected to these called public ledgers where uh, all these Bitcoin blockchain information is stored that stays in public but what are you doing is keeping the access to those um, the currencies which belong to you from that ledger account so let's look at it, different types of wallet first we have types of wallet is one is desktop wallet the other one is mobile wallet I can't even spell and uh, hardware wallet and number four paper wallet mobile wallets got a different type of wallet as well in that so let's look at different examples of these wallets so what is the desktop wallet um, desktop wallet is I forgot one of them is called uh, internet wallets let's look at one by one very quickly what are these wallets and what's the differences are desktop wallet desktop wallets as the name suggests you download download it on your desktop on your laptop and then you actually keep it there so you install that on your laptop the way you used to install any software like word microsoft word or any other software so you install it on your desktop when you install it on your desktop, what it means is it's not going to be available anywhere else. So it's only available on your desktop. So you can imagine that and you know, advantage or disadvantage of this type of wallet is if something goes wrong with that laptop or that desktop, you pretty much lose everything in that sense. So, but what it does is it keeps you secure. It's on your laptop. It's not anywhere else. Nobody can steal it from you because it's within there some people do steal it if you connect to the internet they have different ways to do it but what it means is it's under your control at the moment 
mobile wallet. Uh, mobile wallet, like it says that you have a mobile phone, uh, you have an app available on the mobile phone, and you use it as that mobile phone. So very different example, very many different examples of this is one of the biggest one is called, excuse me, called Jake's wallet. Jake's wallet is pretty famous. What they do is, uh, because it's a multi currency wallet, you keep that in your phone. And when you want to buy or sell something, you can actually use that mobile. I truly believe that in the future, what's going to happen is this type of wallet is going to get really, really famous. Um, initially, when the cryptocurrency started, um, the way it works is Bitcoin have to have its own specific wallet. Ethereum have to have its own specific wallet. Every token and every currency has to have its own different type of wallet. But with the time, what happened is new companies came in. They saw the problem that uh, you know, no people are going to have different type of wallet, and they don't want to waste time downloading, uploading all those wallets and their cryptocurrencies at different places. They're going to have that problem. So Jake's came out and solved that problem, and it's a multi-currency wallet, and all the coins goes in that one place um, within that space, and then you can actually use that between that. So mobile wallet is something which is installed as an app on your mobile phone, any of those smartphones. Hardware wallets, very famous, very secure. Um, some of the examples are Trezor um, or Nano. Uh, Nano S is uh, one of the two biggest one I've known. I've used Trezor personally. Uh, I like it. It's very cool. It's very good. It's just like a USB wallet. So what it does is you connect the USB to your laptop or desktop and download it in this hardware wallet. Hardware wallet is like anything, like a physical wallet. You keep it with yourself. And uh, if you lose it, you pretty much lose everything, right? So that's very, very, very careful with that, um, that you keep it at secure place. You don't actually, you know, give your kids to play with. So that just looks like a USB. Um, but um, you got to be mindful of that. I believe, I truly believe this is one of the best secure wallets out there because you can buy a few of them and then you can have a backup copy stored at different places that give you a bit of extra peace of mind as well. Paper wallets, like name says, it's you can download everything and put it on a paper wallet. Paper wallet is like a printed wallet on a sheet of paper where you have all your public and private keys available. But the biggest issue with the paper wallet is if you want to do a transaction, if you want to send money in and out of that, you need to move that into one of these wallets. One of the mobile wallets, one of the desktop wallets, somewhere where you can receive and send. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be able to use it. Paper wallet is good for one off time that you want to give away a gift to somebody else and they take the paper wallet and import that into their one of the wallets. But paper wallet is, uh, if you spill tea on it, you it's gone. So that's, that's the other thing with that is. Internet wallets is like anything else. You probably have seen it. Uh, when you buy any of the cryptocurrency using any of the exchanges, they provide your wallet as part of that as well. So that's where you keep that. What it actually means that if you keep your money or your cryptocurrency in any of the wallets on the internet, they control it. So any of the exchanges you put it out there, they control your money. They give you, uh, you have access to that. You can in, you know, buy and sell, you can transfer it. But what it means is that you've given them the private key and they have your money. So if you're like me, I wouldn't actually put out there just because of same reason. Tomorrow, if they get bankrupt, if they go out of business, something happens to them, you pretty much lose everything from that. So very quickly, these are the wallets. You really need to have it. One of the guys asked me the question the other day, do I really need to have a wallet? Uh, the answer is yes, you really need to have a wallet. Uh, doesn't matter which type, you need to have one if you want to buy and sell. Unless you have a wallet, you can't buy and sell. When you buy and sell initially using an exchange, they provide you a wallet. But I, my recommendation would be take it out from the exchange, put it somewhere you control it, not controlled by the exchange because exchange gets hacked every other day. They get you know, so many hackers trying to get the money out of that. It's easy money for those people and they only have to exchange, uh, hit the exchange. A couple of months ago, I don't know if you heard it, in Japan, one of the exchanges lost NEMS, about $660 million worth of NEMS got stolen in um, 30th of Jan this year. So 
I want to be careful when you put it out there but this is very quickly explaining different types of wallet um, when you do public release when you buy an ICO tokens um, they provide your wallet to begin with as well right so that's the other thing which is different area than this but we'll talk about it in one of the other um, videos to explain you what is the difference between ICO and what people are doing out there as well but hope you like it thank you for watching speak to you soon